Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. As last night was the Ring of Honor Death by Dishonor pay per view that was headlined by Cody and Minoru Suzuki for the Ring of Honor Championship, and we did see Cody actually retain the Ring of Honor Championship. The show looked like they kind of ran out of time as their timing was off, and as soon as they went to the finish of Suzuki versus Cody, paper was over. So I don't know if there was a timing issue with the pay-per-view last night or what, but other than that, there were two title changes that did take place last night. The first title change saw Kenny King defeat Kushida to be the new Ring of Honor television champion, and from what I'm hearing, there's two reasons why Kenny King got the championship. The first one is there was never any actual long-term plan to keep the title on Kushida because his days in Ring of Honor are limited as far as the dates he can work because he is full-time with New Japan. The second reason they put the title on Kenny King was because he just came off of being on The Bachelorette. They do feel that there could be, which I don't think there's gonna be, but they do feel that there could be some crossover potential and if he ever does like interviews as far as people wanting to interview him for being on The Bachelorette, he could have that Ring of Honor TV title with him, and it's a little bit of cross-promotion. And also, there was a second title change, as we saw Alex Shelley and Chris Sabin, the Motor City Machine Guns, defeat the Young Bucks for the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. You know, they just did this to do it, I guess. I don't know if there's a reason behind the title change. It was a really good match, as whenever we do see the Machine Guns versus the Bucks, it's always going to be good. In my opinion, and I have heard this from others, there was a little too much interference, which really wasn't needed in this match. But in the end, Saban and Shelley did become the new Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. The rest of the show, I've seen the whole show. I watched it late last night, early this morning, kind of overnight. And the rest of the show was good. There was a pretty good match between Silas Young and Jay Lethal. And also there was a big angle that looks to set up Jay Briscoe versus Bully Ray. But with that, if you guys saw Death by Dishonor last night or this morning or whenever you guys were able to check it out, what did you guys think of the Ring of Honor pay-per-view? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this edition of Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe here on YouTube and follow PWUnlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.